On this week's Silver Screen Report, a Dutch Fork graduate makes history. The yearbook staff distributes volume 26, and Max has some tips for dealing with end of the year stress. Good afternoon, Dutch Fork. Today is Friday, May 25th, and your Silver Screen Report starts now. Excited students lined up in the small gym Tuesday night to receive their yearbook and take a look back on the school year. Here's Maddie McCormick with more. The ending of the school year comes a yearbook with a unique theme and message. This year's yearbook focuses on profiling individual students. What's special about this year's yearbook is it's really a tribute to the school itself about all the unique spirit that is within Dutch Fork. This year we really tried to um, focus on personal stories of students and really just go into the personal aspect of students' lives and really look at how we all come together as one school and one high school, one community. Uh, and I feel like we've never really done that before, so that definitely sets this book apart. The yearbook staff has spent the school year taking pictures, interviewing, and documenting school events. This hard work pays off when they get to see the final product. Yearbook has worked hard all year. On the first day, um, my fellow editor and I, we started with a blank computer screen and we draw the templates and everyone, the whole staff has done interviews and photography to put it all together and make the final product. We always have to come after school um, and organize all the books alphabetically, go through all of them, which is really exciting because we actually get to see them before anybody else does and we get to just have our moment and look at them and just take a minute and be like, this is what we've worked on for the past nine months and it's really great to see it all come together. We really just kind of go through them, organize them alphabetically. It's a lot of heavy lifting, a lot of moving boxes, but um, it's definitely worth it and it pays off. The yearbook is important because it allows the memories of the year to live on and is a way to look back on the past. It's something that will always be there. It's a way to look back on all the memories that you had in high school. Documents what we did this year, uh, looks into the students' lives and just how they, what they did in your high school. We all get to see the memories we corroborated all year long, and so we get to live it on when we see it in the future. If you haven't gotten your yearbook, they will be on sale today in the Commons during all lunches. The cost is $85, and all checks are payable to Dutch Fork High School. Yearbooks are on a first come, first served basis. This has been Maddie McCormick with your Silver Screen Report. Dutch Fork class of 2019 graduate Sabre Neal made history earlier this month as she became the first African American PhD graduate from Georgia Tech School of Computational Science and Engineering. We caught up with Dr. O'Neill when she returned to Dutch Fork on Tuesday to visit computer science teacher Barry Lindler. Um, Sabre was an awesome student. She, um, she had a fantastic personality, a uh, hard worker. Um, sometimes you'd see her without a smile on her face, but it didn't last long. So she had a big impact on her rest of the students in the class as well as me. I spent about three years under Mr. Lindler's direction, so I feel like my time at DF DFHS set the trajectory for my um, college and uh, graduate school career because before that, like, I had no idea what I wanted to do until I started taking his programming classes. And he kept, uh, you know, telling me just how good I could be in this field and if I really stuck with it, how far I could really go. Sabre's accomplishment means a lot personally. Um, sometimes when every, every profession, you have those days where you wonder if you're actually making a difference. Um, how things are, are impacting the future. And to see Sabra take what we started here and continue to build on it, not only does she make Dutch Fork proud, she makes me personally proud. When I was here at Dutch Fork, I never called him Mr. Lindler. I always used to call him Lin Lin. So uh, when I was younger, Lin Lin was always there for me. And when I was pursuing, um, Deciding what I wanted to do in college, he was very persistent to the point he reached out to my parents and told them like, you know, Sabra really has a knack for this. This could really be her thing. I always felt like Sabra had that in her to break down any barriers that were in her way. It feels 
humbling, honestly, because when I was pursuing the program, like, you know, it never crossed my mind, like, oh, what are their numbers of women or a number of African Americans? Like, I never even thought about that. I mean, Georgia Tech is in the top 10 in the country in terms of the field of computing and computer science. So that was all I cared about. I always knew she was something special and that whatever she decided, if she stayed focused and worked on it, that she would succeed and, um, and not only succeed, but exceed everybody's expectations. I'm definitely honored and humbled to uh, pave that way for others who may come along next and to see that, you know, you can do it like as long as you keep fighting the fight. Life skills teacher Sharon Assey is planning to retire at the end of the school year. Solomon Dix takes a look back at her career and her time spent at Dutch Fork. Special Ed teacher Sharon Nassie is going to retire this year because she wants to spend more time with family. I am retiring because I have grandchildren in Charleston. I have a mother that needs them taken care of and I'm just ready to do some things that I want to do. She, um, her students just love her. They, they all want her to stay. They're begging her to stay. Um, she's always just been very caring and understanding and tried to help you know, them in any way that she possibly could. Her time here is going to be greatly missed. She's a great teacher. Um, she works really hard for our students and, and our staff, and it's going to be really sad to see her go. She will miss the students and her coworkers. I am going to miss Dutch Fork. I'm going to miss some of the students. I'm going to miss the teachers. I'm going to miss morale here. I mean, everything about Dutch Fork I am going to miss, but it was my time to go. <laughs> she did. Um, such a wonderful job with the students and she was just such a, a pleasant addition to um, our program and her friendship has um, meant so much to us and to me particularly. Anybody that's here at Dutch Fork is so privileged to be here. The administration is awesome, um, the, everybody gets along well, the teachers are just, it's great to be here. This has been Solomon Dix with your Silver Screen Report. The end of the year can lead to unnecessary stress. Mindfulness is a way to deal with that. Here's Max with some tips. Eyes open. A nice soft focus with the eyes. For this week's Kids in the Hall, we asked students how they de-stress. I got me a little stress reliever, like when, when you put in your arm, and when I like stress out, I just go get it, put it in my arm and just calm it. I just try to relax and um, I'll go to sleep sometimes just to like relieve it, I guess. Sometimes I just like try to take a breather. I'll take like 30 minutes to myself, try to listen to some music, some slow R&B jazz and something like that. See if the situation is really worth having stress over. If it is, talk to somebody about it that you know that's real close, that you can trust, and get their feedback on it and just go on with life. The SAT word of the week is placate, a verb meaning to ease the anger of or soothe. There are a lot of great dessert shops in downtown Columbia, but one in particular caught our attention. Todd Whittington has the scoop. The Baked Bear is a recently opened ice cream sandwich shop on Harden Street in Five Points. The shop sells donuts, brownies, and cookies, all of which can be formed into a sandwich with their wide variety of ice cream flavors. All desserts are made on site and the ice cream is all natural without artificial growth hormones or stabilizers. Cookie sandwiches start at $5.50 but adding brownies, donuts, or toppings can raise the price closer to $6. I chose an ice cream sandwich as it seemed to be their staple item. The combination of peanut butter cookies and mint chip ice cream was a little bit odd, but their variety of cookies and ice cream flavors offers a lot of different flavor combinations. Some odd, others delicious. We also picked up some of their fresh cookies. While not on par with home-baked cookies, $1 for a cookie is a good bargain. Overall, the cookies and ice cream were of good quality, but not as good as shops that specialize in either ice cream or cookies. This has been Todd Whittington with your Silver Screen Report. And now for some announcements. Current juniors should sign up now to have their senior yearbook pictures taken. Pictures will be taken in the auditorium June 6th and 7th from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. You may not miss an exam or class to take your picture. Go to seniors.legacystudios.com to reserve your time. Don't forget to swing by the Media Center to pick up a free book. 
Books are located on top of the back shelves and are also on a table in the commons. Please donate your empty backpacks to the homeless. Beta Club will have collection boxes placed throughout the school. See Beta Club sponsor Kelly Payne for more information. Now here's Bailey with more. Thanks, Mia. Monday is a school holiday. Tuesday will be a B day, and senior exams begin for 5B and 7B. This is the school website for the complete senior exam schedule. Underclassmen exams begin Monday, June 4th with 5B and 7B classes. The underclassmen exam schedule is also posted on the school's website. Be sure to check your Fox Focus Google Classroom group for important dates and end of the year reminders. This is the last Silver Screen episode of the year, and it's me and Mia's last episode ever. Take, Take care, care, Dutch, Dutch Fork. The T word of the week is placate, a verb meaning to ease the anger of or soothe. Okay. The SAT word of the <laughs> will be taken in the auditorium from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. You may not miss an exam or class. Thanks, Mia. Thanks, Mia. Thanks, Mia. Monday. This is the last Silver Screen episode of the year, and it's me and Mia's 